Excel A-Level Maths for your paper 2, Summer 2019, question 13. The manufacturer produces a storage tank. The tank is modelled in the shape of a hollow circular cylinder closed at one end with a hemispherical shell at the other end as shown in figure 9. The walls of the tank are assumed to have negligible thickness. The cylinder has radius r meters and height h meters and the hemisphere has radius r meters. The volume of the tank is 6 cubic meters. We need to show that according to the model, the surface area of the tank in square meters is given by 12 over r plus 5 thirds pi r squared. So to start with, let's find an equation for the surface area. We know that the curved surface area of a cylinder is given by 2 pi r h. So remember, that's just the circumference of the circle at the bottom times by the height h. We know that the surface area of the cylinder's base is pi r squared, because it's a circle. And we've given that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So the surface area of a hemisphere must be 2 pi r squared. Adding all these together, we get that the total surface area is 3 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So I'm looking at what we're aiming for. The expression we've been given doesn't have h in there, so we need to find a way to get rid of this. Well, the other information in the question which we haven't used yet is that the volume of the tank is 6 cubic metres. So let's find an equation for the volume, and we'll set that equal to 6. So the volume of the tank... The cylindrical part is the area of the circle base times by the length, so pi r squared h. The sphere has volume 4 thirds pi r cubed. We've only got a hemisphere, so half of that is 2 thirds pi r cubed. And that's all equal to 6, as we're told. So if we can now rearrange this, set it equal to h, we can substitute that h back into our surface area equation. So subtracting 2 thirds pi r cubed from each side, we then divide by the pi r squared, so we get 6 over pi r squared, minus 2 thirds pi. Note that the pi has cancelled out, and that the r squared has cancelled out two of the powers on the r, just to leave us with 2 thirds r. We're going to substitute that back in now, so the surface area is equal to 3 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times by the 6 over pi r squared minus 2 thirds r that we've just found. All we need to do now is simplify our formula. So we've got 2 pi r times a bracket. Let's expand that. So 2 pi r times by 6 over pi r squared. So we've got 2 times 6 for the 12. The pi's cancel out. So the r will cancel out one of the two r's on the bottom. So that's 12 over r. Second term is minus 2 thirds r. So we have minus 2 times 2 thirds give us 4 thirds pi r times by the other r gives us pi r squared. We've now got pi r squared in two places. We've got the 3 at the beginning and the minus 4 thirds at the end. So bringing them together gives us 12 over r plus 5 thirds pi r squared as required. For part b, the manufacturer needs to minimise the surface area of the tank. We need to use calculus to find the radius of the tank for which the surface area is a minimum. So we've got our formula for the surface area, which is 12 over r plus 5 thirds pi r squared. As we're going to use calculus to find a minimum, we're going to differentiate this and set that result equal to zero. So dA by dr, to differentiate 12 over r, we remember that that's the same as 12r to the minus 1. So multiply that minus 1 down take one off the power, so it becomes minus 2. So written as a fraction, that's minus 12 over r squared. And for the second term, we've got an r squared there, so we bring the 2 down to the front. So 2 lots of 5 thirds are 10 thirds. Knock one off the power, so it's 10 thirds pi r. We now set that equal to 0 because we're looking for the minimum. Adding 12 over r squared to both sides gives us 10 thirds pi r equals 12 over r squared. Cross multiplying the 3 and the r squared gives us 10 pi r cubed equals 36. So r cubed equals 36 over 10 pi. Putting this into our calculator and cube rooting gives us an answer of r equals 1.05 metres to three significant figures. 
For part C, we need to calculate the minimum surface area of the tank, giving the answer to the nearest integer. So we know that the radius which gives the minimum surface area is 1.05 meters. So we're just going to put that into our expression of 12 over r plus 5 thirds pi r squared. This will give us the minimum surface area. At this point, I'd usually best take the exact answer that was given in part B, store that in your calculator, and put that in. It just gets rid of any rounding errors. But here I've written it with just the 1.05. So the surface area equals 12 over 1.05 plus 5 thirds pi times 1.05 squared, which is 17 square meters. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.